everyone. We're getting started with our next session. And as you can see, the title of the session is Identity and Genetics. And I think when Dr. Kittles was referring to the next session, the next session you'll see connections, he was talking about the connections between um, genetics and health, where you could really see that. But this is important because it's the connection between genetics and identity, which is a part of the, that whole global makeup of how you see yourselves, right? The genetics is a piece, what you know about your history, you see that all coming together, and then the interpretation and what you do. So this is going to be more of a, a cultural interpretation, biocultural interpretation of genetics and how people look at uh, genetics as it relates to their identity. My name's Yolanda Moses, I'm a cultural anthropologist, and I stood on this stage a couple of years ago when the race exhibit was here. How many of you saw the race exhibit when it was here two years ago? Uh, it was here at the Smithsonian for six months. And one of the things we did with that exhibit was to try and link the history of the idea of race, the science of race and human variation, and how race is lived in everyday life here in the US as a result of that history and our understanding of human variation. So it was an integrated kind of approach. Um, what we're doing um, in this particular session, uh, we'll have two speakers, uh, Dr. Alondra Nelson and Dr. Sandra uh, Lee, who is going to talk about uh, genetics and identity from their uh, particular perspectives. Dr. Uh, Nelson uh, is going to talk about her research as it relates to uh, genetics and identity from her ethnographies. And Dr. Nelson is going to talk about her research that's focused on the meaning of race and interpretation of difference in uh, genomic science. So you'll see those things coming together. Then we're going to be sitting here on stage for our discussion. Thank you. So I'll ask Dr. Nelson to come forward. <laughs> 